Hi everyone, I'm Evan with Getting Wet to Get Fit. This week's video segment is a demonstration of an activity that I like to use during my deep water aerobics classes to shake things up a little bit. I use the entire length of the pool and it is a team challenge, which really gets a sense of competition going and gets your participants working really, really hard so that they can be the winners. It is an equipment challenge, so we use a lot of equipment. If your facility has limited equipment, you can collect water bottles over a couple of weeks, ask your class participants to bring them into, you wash them up and you can use them. Make sure you save them because then you can use them in your other water classes as many hand, um, hand buoys, water buoys, and they work great that way. So in our video, I just have Christine and Kisa as a two-person team, just one team demonstrating it. But keep in mind, depending on how big your class is, you could have several teams. You want to divide your class up evenly, thinking more in terms of fitness level than numbers. You definitely don't want all of the most fit people in your class all in one team because that's not going to be fun or fair. So I hope you like it and I hope you can use this activity in your next class. All right, let's get to it. So before class, make sure you set out a lot of equipment, especially if you have large classes because you'll have more teams. Ready, first person, go! One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, second person, go! And if you had more than two people on a team, you would keep counting down three to five seconds in between. You just want to stagger the start so that everyone's not getting down to the equipment and getting jammed up in the equipment the whole time. Jogging all the way down. Come all the way down to the other end. Grab one piece of equipment. Just one. <laughs> And then you can swim, you can jog any way you want back down. Good job, good job. Now keep in mind, if you have more than one team, each team would kind of be assigned a lane, and each team should have an assigned place to put their equipment. Because everybody's going to end up going at their own pace. After they drop off the piece of equipment that they got the first time, they would swim back down and pick up another piece. And keep doing that for the whole time. I like to do between five and eight minutes, and that gets a really good workout. And even though time is up, Kisa's equipment counts because it was in her hand. Good job. And then what we do is we count the equipment. And we only showed you with one team today, but you will probably have several teams from your class. And whichever team has the most equipment wins. Good job.